Good morning and welcome to the live stream. There are two keys to recording a great voiceover narration. And I'm going to share those with you this morning. So hang tight. I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voice talent and voiceover career coach. My purpose for being here is to help equip you to be successful in voiceover. And when I say successful, I'm talking about being profitable, making money in voiceover. And a part of that, and, you know, I invite you to check out, I've got over 700 videos on this YouTube channel, which will walk you through virtually all aspects of voiceover. But one important aspect, not the only, but one important part is your is the performance aspect. And there are two keys that are going to help you book more work, keep more clients, and just kill it when it comes to voiceover. Are you ready for them? All right. Number well, first of all, let me get let me let me set this up a little bit. Let me set the table. Why is it important? Well, in voiceover narration, the key to being a great voiceover talent is being believable. And when you get into narration, it usually becomes a little more explanatory. A lot of long form narration is instructional in nature. It could be promotional um, for a company, but not like not like 15 second, 30 second commercial promotional. It's longer form. There's more explaining going on, more detail. And uh, you're starting to lean, starting to lean toward the instructional side of the um, of the continuum. So when when you want to be a great voiceover talent within the realm of narration, and by the way, that's the biggest chunk of the work out there in voiceover. It's it's a more of a long form. It's more of a long form. There's a lot more of that than there is commercial work or promo work or virtually any other type of work. You've got to be credible. Now, the key, I mean, the thing is we all understand is that you and I are not experts at everything, nor do we need to be. But, 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 the person who's listening needs to feel and believe that we are. Because if we show in any way, shape, or form that we're not confident in what we're talking about, or we're not quite sure of what we're talking about, they will pick up on that in a heartbeat, and it will ruin our credibility instantaneously. What that means in a, as a voiceover talent, when you're doing auditions, you won't get past the audition stage. You'll never get hired. Nobody expects you to know and understand everything you're talking about, but uh, it doesn't matter. You still have to sound credible and as if, as if you know what you're talking about. So how do credible people communicate information? Well, because they're credible, because they are a subject matter expert, because they are an authority on the topic, they tend to approach things in a very calm, relaxed, but confident way. People who don't know what they're talking about tend to get anxious, nervous, and that nervousness and that adrenaline that begins to flow exhibits itself in two ways. One is that the muscles tense up and the voice tends to get higher. And it sounds like you're trying a little harder because you're not quite sure what it is you're talking about. So, you're just tense and you're and it, and it and it and it causes your vocal cords to get tense and it causes your voice to pitch up that's one tell like a poker tell it lets me know that you really are not quite sure what you're talking about or you're trying to sell me a bill of goods that you don't believe yourself the other is you tend to speed up without knowing it because the adrenaline is flowing that's what happens when people aren't quite sure they get nervous they tend the muscles tense up involuntarily and the, uh, the adrenaline causes them to read faster than they normally would. And oftentimes you don't even realize that you're doing it until somebody either A, points it out to you, or you go back and listen and realize, wow, I was really speed reading that copy. So what are the two keys to reading a great voiceover, uh, voiceover narration? Two things that will help you immensely. Number one, relax. Sure, you don't understand everything that you're talking about. Nobody does in voiceover. I don't, I mean, unless it's something that I happen to, to know about, and there are things that you will read that you'll be an expert at, but not everything, not even most things. And that's okay. That's not our job. Our job is to communicate the concepts in such a way that people believe that we, that we believe what we're talking about. So A, relax, which means that physically you have to be aware of your body. You have to you know, look for that tension, feel it understand and acknowledge that it's there. Take deep breaths and relax. When you begin to feel your chest tighten and your throat tighten, just relax. You feel the tension, 
let go of the tension. It's kind of like walking a high wire without a net. It'll feel that way, but it's okay. It's voiceover. You can't get hurt. So relax. Number two, slow down. Go slower than you think you need to. Better to go too slow than to go too fast because when you go slower, it's the person who is in control of what they're talking about, the authority, doesn't feel any need to hurt, to hurry, to rush. It's their platform. They're talking about something that they're the expert in, and they're trying to explain these concepts to you. So, for instance, as I talked to you about voiceover this morning, I feel no need to rush through this. I feel no need to impress you because, I, I mean, I know that I know what I'm talking about. So I'm just simply trying to convey the concepts to you. And that is you behind the microphone when doing longer form narration. Just relax, slow down. When you slow down, it allows you to see and better understand and comprehend what you're talking about. Therefore, it allows the listener to better understand and comprehend what you're talking about. And furthermore, makes you sound credible. You're not the fast talking salesperson who's trying to convince somebody of something. The person who knows doesn't feel like they have to sell everybody on what they're talking about. The person who knows simply knows. When Sam Elliott is uh, is doing the Dodge Ram commercials, do you think he feels anxiety anxiety about trying to convince you that Dodge Ram is the best and that you need to buy them? No. He is in complete control of that read. He is so relaxed. He is so confident, and that is what makes him so good. And not just him, that's just an example. But that's what a great voiceover talent does. So two keys to great narration. Relax. Slow down. It will go so far in helping you to book work and to be credible and to sound like you know what you're talking about in voiceover. All right? So I hope you find that to be a help this morning. Try it out. Come back. Leave a comment below. Let us know what happened for you. Thanks for being here this morning, by the way. You know, I would love to have you all in my VoiceOver Blueprint program. And the VoiceOver Blueprint, and I'm not not going to give a a big, long speech on that this morning, but it is my comprehensive, it it is, it's the VoiceOver University. It's the, the teaching on demand in video format. It is the nearly daily live coaching sessions covering every topic imaginable. It is the community of, te- uh, of students within the VoiceOver Blueprint. It's being able to watch as I work during the day so that I can demonstrate and show you the things that I teach you. And it's ongoing. But it's, it's obviously an investment to be a part of the Blueprint. So, but what I want you to do, here's something to consider. I would love for you to take my 90-day all-access pass where you have full access to everything where you can learn a boatload in those 90 days. And if you want to continue on, you can, but if not, that's perfectly fine. In the description below the video, you're going to find a link. Go there, check it out. Would love to have you be a part. At least check it out, all right, and see what you, see what you think. All right, guys, thanks for checking in this morning. Let's see who we have. Um, let's do a little roll call and see who we have on the stream this morning. Susan in New Jersey, what's going on? Hey, Edward. Philip in Tokyo, good to have you on. Patricia, how about them bills? Hey, Janet in Foggy, Florida. Hey, Fred in Cameroon. Hope you're doing well. JR in Austin, good morning to you. Leticia from uh, San Antonio, what's up? Curtis in Clearwater. Bob in Reedsville, North Carolina. We got Doug on this morning from Greensboro, North Carolina. Am I repeating myself? Oh, no, that was Reedsville. That's Bob in Reedsville and Doug in Greensboro. Brent in St. Louis where we're mourning the Cardinals. While I'm sorry for you, Brent, I have to be honest with you. As a Cincinnati Reds fan, I have, there's no love lost for the, uh, for the Cardinals, but I'm sorry for you. I am sorry for you. Hey, Lauren in Columbus, hope you're doing well. Stephen, good morning. Miriam in South Africa, how are you this this morning or this afternoon for you? And let's see here, Queens, New York in the house. We've got Stephen Cyrus, Ohio. Good morning. Oh, Italy. Good morning. Good to have you this morning. Hey, Gertie, what's up in Belgium? Amanda in Birmingham. Annie just booked her first job ever through voice. One, two, three. Exciting. Indeed, it is exciting. Annie, a round of applause for you. That's that's a big deal. Congratulations. There's more to come. Always remember this. If there's one person out there willing to hire you, there's other people. 
You just got to go find them. That's all. Just keep doing what you're doing. Hey, Michelle in North Carolina, what's going on? Barb in Ann Arbor. Hey there. John in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Darren having lunch in Shropshire, UK. No, no doubt, Darren, it's something on toast. I know you had eggs on toast last week. You had beans on toast. What is it today? I don't know. If you want to let me know in the, you know, in the chat, let me know. Hey, Piper in uh, British Columbia. How are you? And Robert, what's up in San Antonio? Rob, it's a brisk day in Loveland. It is a brisk day in the Cincinnati area for sure this morning. It is chilly. Hey, Stephen Oshkosh, Tom in uh, Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania. Hey, Robert. Hey, Carolyn. Good morning in Italy. Nothing better than taking three deep breaths. I could not agree more. Deep breathing will serve you well in voiceover. Matt in Orlando, what's up? Maureen in Kent. Uh, and uh, Maureen's in the UK. All right. Good afternoon, Maureen. Uh, Jay, <laughs> how about those Patriots? Lisa in Michigan. Hey, guys, thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. It's always a lot of fun to get together and just to share information, again, to help you along the way. We do this every weekday morning, right around 8-ish a.m. or so, Eastern time, and would love to have you here as often as you can be. Make sure if you haven't yet subscribed, you'll get notifications when I go live. And, of course, always love your comments. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow morning. Make it a great day.